now uh, we already see what uh, the current trophy needs for 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 the instance yet. Um, for example, if you want to use a different instance on different CD, you only need to change those those values, and then you can have a running application. Um, but here you can see uh, how is the structure of the trophy application. Uh, here is the whole uh, providers. Those providers are the base um, the base providers what we need. The first thing is the theming and another thing is the localization. So this this theming is is basically for manage the current theme and change the color and so on. And Trophy localization is basically for manage the current language or the different language what we can have. And as you can see here, we are using the spread operator for for combine the all providers what we can provide or the instantiation. And also, as you can see, we are using the material app router um, because we are using the the routing form of the material app. And the material app um, router asks us the, to provide two, um, two parameters. The first thing is root information parser. That's what we are already sending. And here by default, uh, we are using the, the root master. And also we need to provide the root delegate who will be, manage, uh, who will be responsible to manage the, the routing part. So that's how, how the base work. And also, this is how the multi provider works. Now, here you can see whole multi provider is rapid, but an other um, widget, what's called App Life Cycle Reactor, that's basically used by by turn on and turn off the the GPS, because the GPS is also part of the Trophy core or the Trophy base, because we use in different Parts of the application. First, we just for show you, show show your your current position in on the map, um, and also for share some places, and then you can press uh, your current position. Then also is used uh, by uh, different features, and but we want to turn off the GPS when you. When you switch the the applications, or when you go up to another application, then when you go back, we want to turn off again. And that's the only reason why why this widget is wrapping whole application. Okay, and then the another thing what we the another thing what's really important for for us since as you can see we are already supporting the the web structure or the web um, version is um we don't need um i mean um, when you change some uh, some values here for example if we change the language uh the screen is not re, re, re reloading and also if we change the the theming the screen is, is not re reloading in some cases, um, uh, we thought root master it was with a bug because only on 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 web part. So when you change something, and um, the the whole application will reload. So that's the reason why we have um, our own uh, theme theme manager and localization manager, and that's the reason why we are using the default values here. And and that's the reason why we are using a helper here. As you can see, we are wrapping again. Uh, we are using base trophy trophy page. Uh, this uh, widget should wrap all screen at the at the be beginning point. If we go back to the default um, pages. Um, here you can see uh, we are dropping with no animation page. If we open the no animation page, you can see here that um, we are dropping the whole no animation page with trophy base, uh, tr base trophy page. 
so as you can see, we are wrapping all screens. So it means if you create your own screen, you 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 also need to wrap with non-animation page for for getting the the correct be behavior. What exactly did this base trophy page is basically managing the theme and also managing the localization. So we are basically overriding the default uh, material app um, theming and localization manager. So that's that's really important how how it works. <clears throat> 